Sachu Machindra. Seto? Machindra. 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 Sachu Machindra. Why do you make a face like that? Help me to pronounce it. Jawu. Gualmori. Gualpuri. Okay. Gualmori. I'm not gonna try it again. <laughs> I have to say it the way she says it. I'm totally slandering the language here. Oh, I can hear someone behind us. So this is the setting of uh, most of the Nepalese houses in Kathmandu. So if you go inside an alley, and then you will find a uh, square. Uh, so all the people living here, they will know each other. They and uh, all the festivals and everything, they happen in the square. I assume there's like many of these squares. Yeah, many, many of the squares. But this oh. is a, a little bit bigger one than other squares. What defines it is you have to have a temple. Maybe a tree. A tree, oh yeah? Uh, a community water, it's somewhere nearby. I think it's somewhere that side. Community water, some water supply yeah. somewhere. <laughs> so you see that, sorry that you saw. So that. That's Sarita. <laughs> Namaste. <coughs> uh, I think most famous food in this community is semolina. Semolina. What do they use it for? Or what is it used often for? Mostly for this food. Mostly for halua. So we uh, fry this in butter, uh -huh. a little butter, and then we fry it until it's red. And then we put some milk and sugar and cook it for like four or five minutes and it's done. And this is Whoa. the food. And that's what we're gonna be trying. <laughs> when we were small, my mother or my like even my friends, they would uh, friends' mother they would cook this uh, semolina and then put it in our tiffin and we would eat this during our break. It's dessert for us. Oh yeah. yeah. Dessert for like small kids, <laughs> not for the adults, but mainly for the small kids because it's sweet and it has milk and everything. Oh okay. Sarita's halua is delicious and sweet, but I know I can't feast to my heart's desire. I have an entire day of Backstreet Academy eating and Kanti is just warming up. Luckily, we're doing some sightseeing along the way, which gives me time to digest and burn off my newly eaten calories. So what is this temple or this god known for? Uh, it's known for like, uh, making your wish for the People come here and they feed the pigeons? Yep. So this is supposed to help with dharma. Yeah. So the more the more pigeons I feed, the more dharma. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Some people also feed the dogs in Western. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad they get fed. Yeah. That's why the that's street dogs in uh, Nepal are very well fed, I think. No wonder, you know, yeah, I threw like one on Momo yeah. for my dinner yeah. and he was just like... No. <laughs> the same like India, Chapati. So this is the deep fried one. <laughs> So wait, this is called puri, puri, and then some seed, chickpeas, peas, and onions. Onions, yeah. Sometimes they also put like potatoes, like ala. Why have a potato? They also have potatoes, but I think we didn't get any potatoes in this. Oh yeah? Oh, that shorted potatoes. <laughs> I think I had this in India too. India has this too as well. Oh, you have to flatten it? Oh, yeah. here. It's so all the steam comes out. There's a lot of steam coming out. This is like fresh. So the, the subject is 15 rupees. Uh-huh. And then this is five for one piece. Okay, that's not gonna work. I really like this combination. Oh, wipe your hands. That's how you wipe your hands. <laughs> the monastery nearby that we saw on the way. So most of the people that like take rounds in the stupa of the monastery, they come here and have the breakfast. Oh yeah, they're all gone. They will come in the evening again, maybe around 5 p.m. Okay. So 35.
So that's one of our, one of the hottest chilies in Nepal. The red ones and the green ones, both like the smaller ones. Sikh Kumari Mithai Pasan. This shop is 73 years old. Oh, it is? This shop is 73 yeah. years old? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's called Swari and Halwa. So Halwa is the same thing that we ate? Uh huh. Uh, this is more like a uh, puri one, more soft. Okay. We ate a dried one, right? Yeah. This is a softer one. And this is like a puri, but it's made in a different method. Is this like a traditional? This is a traditional breakfast meat, or like a? It's more like a traditional. Because it's supposed to be sweet. What is this made of? This is just normal flour outside uh -huh. the swari. Yeah. And uh, semolina is uh, so the halwa is from semolina. Bottoms up. Mmm, huh? you're right. It's like very gluey, like pasty. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain this to you. It's kind of like a sweet, pasty kind of um, dessert. <laughs> Out of all the dishes that you eat, what is your favorite? Uh, it's definitely the milk tea and the uh, seluti and the uh, semolina. The semolina? The semolina. Childhood memories. That's what right. <laughs> yeah. Mine was the milk tea, definitely the milk tea. Um, the yeah? celery tea. Oh, I thought that was good. This. The Korean stuff. <laughs> so, what do you think is really unique? I mean, I know what's really unique about this um, tour or these tours that Backstreet Academy offers, but what do you think is really unique that you folks offer? Uh, I think what we offer is uh, very local things to do for tourists in Kathmandu, where you cannot find these tours anywhere in other parts of Kathmandu. So we offer very unique in that sense and also you get to meet, meet a local, make a friend for a local and try different things that a local tries and it, it just brings out the different aspect of a city that you wouldn't see if you are alone or if you are with any, any other travel agents. Yeah, I'd have to agree because like I when I pass by a lot of travel agents, I see a lot of trekking tours, I see white water, water rafting tours, or oh, temple tours, temple tours, but nothing that just kind of gets you down into like um, local experiencing local lifestyle. You guys have more things, more tours like about yeah. mass making, a wood carving, and we also have like a knife making class, so you can actually go to a local blacksmith's house and make your own knife. Yeah, or even a cooking tour, which I think yeah. is really great for people who are just, you know, even solo travelers who are on their own, want to experience the culture, um, want to have an insight, greater insight into the culture, and, yeah. you know, have a, a meaningful experience when they walk away. Check out the links, I'll leave them down below in my description box, as well as out on my website when I, when I get done with writing my written guide. Um, check them out, and yeah, if you're ever in Kathmandu. Maybe I'll see you soon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Should have told you that you're beautiful, but the days pass and now it's so long ago. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too.